This movie shows you how to place a texture on the roof of the house and create a material for the chain link fence. You can use the techniques you learned in parts 1 and 2 to create materials for the barn and the house. Or you can open the field HQ part 3.max file you downloaded for this movie. Choose the house selection set and isolate it. The shape of this roof might cause you some problems. Start by creating a material for it. Use the shake.weather.jpg image as a diffuse map. If you apply a UVW map modifier, no amount of adjustment helps. The shingles aren't supposed to lie in the same direction like this. They should align with the various slopes. Delete the UVW map modifier. To make the shingles conform to the slopes of the gables, you can use the Map Scalar modifier. Make sure you choose Map Scalar in the Object Space Modifier OSM list, which applies locally to the object. The Map Scalar modifier maintains the map scale relative to the roof and wraps the texture so that the shingles follow the angles of the roof. Not all game engines recognize the Map Scalar modifier, but you can collapse the stack to bake the mapping coordinates into the model. Next, you can create a material for the chain link fence, which is an object you should be able to see through. Choose the Fence Selection Set, then right-click in the viewport and choose Isolate Selection. Alt-click the ground to deselect it. Click a node, press Ctrl-A, and press Delete to clear all materials in the editor. Create a light grey material and apply it to the fence. If you change its opacity, you can see through the entire object and it just looks like flat planes. What you really want is an object that looks like it has holes in it. You can use a bitmap to make parts of the object transparent and other parts opaque. Set the opacity back to 100%. From the opacity socket, select bitmap. Then choose sitework.chainlink.jpg. In opacity mapping, Black areas of the image appear transparent and white areas appear opaque. Gray values create some degree of transparency. Select the Material node and click Show Map in Viewport. Enable the two-sided option so that both sides of the fence render. The object is mostly gray because you need to adjust the mapping coordinates. With all four objects still selected, apply a UVW map modifier. Change the mapping projection type to box, and then set length, width, and height to 0.5 meters. You can see how the map determines which parts of the object are transparent and which are opaque. Exit isolation mode and look at the shadow of the fence. Depending on your graphics card, viewports might not display opacity mapping. If this is the case, you must render to see the effect of opacity mapping on shadows. You have now learned how to create and apply materials and mapping coordinates for a scene. This concludes the three-part tutorial on materials and maps.